Hello there, welcome to another video. My name is James and today we're going to be talking about your typing speed. So typing is really, really important. Obviously we all use our computers so, so much. So it's super important that we think about typing speed. Now this is something that really goes under the radar with a lot of people. Like, you, you know, you sort of don't really think about how quick you're typing. Um, you know, I used to think, oh, yeah, I'm not that bad. <laughs> you know, I can type fairly well. You know, no no issues there at all. Um, and then I saw, like, one of my friends, he could type 100 words a minute. And, you know, I'm sitting there going, like, ding, 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 you know, this is, this is cool. And then my friend typing 100 words per minute, that was incredible to me. And I really was started wondering, you know, how, <laughs> how can I do that? Because... That is just insane. And, you know, it started getting me thinking, you know, I'm typing at 50 words a minute now. Um, you know, if I could type 100, I can type my assignments up so much quicker. I can do everything so much faster. Um, when you really consider how much time you're on the computer for, being able to type quickly is one of those skills that is, is going to make your computer use a lot more uh, efficient. And it's going to allow you to get things done a lot faster. So it's something that's definitely worth paying attention to. So this video today, what we're going to go through is how I've gone about increasing my typing speed. There's so much advice online that isn't really that good. Uh, and there's a lot of things that I've done, which I've noticed a real improvement uh, just in the last couple of weeks. So let's get to it. Now we've got ourselves our keyboard here on the screen. So this is the website that I've been using to boost my typing speed. There's a few things that I want to show you before we get started. Uh, the first one of these is... It's important to note the position of your hands on the keyboard. Uh, so as we can see here on this diagram, um, you can see here where your thing, the, the keys that your fingers are supposed to be hitting. So um, in a second I'll talk about keyboard layout, but I'm using a Colmac layout. But you can see here we've got this diagram, so your, your pinky finger should be hitting these three keys. Your ring finger should be hitting the, the W, that's an S, I think, on, an, on a QWERTY keyboard. Um, you know, and th these are essentially the ones you should be hitting. Now, I, I definitely used to be um, the sort of person, I think a lot of people are, where, you know, you're sort of using maybe a couple of fingers to hit every single key. Um, you're really not using your pinkies as much as possible. Now, when you really want to get up to the speed that's really quick, <laughs> you need to be using you know, what all, all 10 of your fingers as much as possible. So something like this is really, really helpful. It's going to tell you, you know, where, um, you know, which keys you're, you should be hitting. Uh, and it's going to help you to, to not have to move your hand to, to the keys every single time. That's one of the main delays, really, when it comes to keyboards or, or typing speed is, is, you know, having to move your hand around. If you can just keep your hands in the same spot and, and just type like that, it's going to make it a lot, a lot easier. Um, that we'll get onto keyboard layouts now. So as you can see here, my layout is slightly different to normal. I'm using what's called the Colmac layout. Um, and this, this layout situation goes back a little while. Um, when the, most, most keyboards are QWERTY. Um, that's like by the top left, it's Q-W-E-R-T-Y. And that's what defines, that's the keyboard name. And that was made, that keyboard was made a hundred and something years ago, <laughs> made a long time ago, um, for typewriters so that the keys wouldn't get jammed. Um, but it's not optimal at all for, for typing speed. There are a couple of keyboards which are, or keyboard layouts rather, which are designed for keyboard speed and typing speed. Um, these are, one of them is called Dvorak um, and Colmac as well, which is the one I'm using, uh, which came out a few years after that. There's another one I tried. Uh, there's there's a there's a couple more. I think it's space, space man or something. <laughs> there's definitely another one, uh, which you know is similar to Colmac in a lot of ways. But yeah, you can see here that uh, these are basically designed so that your hand doesn't have to move as far to hit the keys that are most commonly used. So for example, um, you can see here that well I'll, I'll tell you that this key here is the letter N. Uh, this one here is E. This one's I. This one's O. Now, if you look at a distribution of English letter keys, which ones get hit the most? Um, you know, N, E, I, and O. Oh, yeah, O. Uh, you know, they're they're fairly common. E, I think, is the most common, uh, and it's the same on the left hand. T, S, R, and A. Those four again are very very common. So it's uh, that's essentially what the keyboard is designed for. So that the middle row is filled with the keys that are used the most. Now, I can highly recommend 
trans or changing to one of these. When I when I transferred to this, it did take me quite a while to get to get better at it. And as we'll see on my my chart, you know, there was a couple of <laughs> um, you know, it, it took me a little while to get good essentially. But um, this is this is the website that I've been using to get good here. Um, this is called KeyBR. I'll put a link in the description. So what you, what you essentially do is now now we'll move on to how to actually get better, I guess, at at typing. Um, one of the main problems with typing tests in general is that they get you to type words that, or sometimes even type things that aren't commonly typed. Like there was one site I can't remember what it was called, but you know it had me typing like things like H Z D like J, K, P, um, you know, weird things like that that you're never going to have to type. Uh, it's, it's, there's no point really, while, you know, it is useful to understand where the keys are, what's more important is getting, there's certain flows that happen when you type. So, for example, um, T-I-O-N, that is a, a short phrase that comes up a lot, comes up in so many words, so it's important to be good at that. Uh, in the same way, things like O-U-R, uh, T-H-E, there's a bunch of these three letter or four letter combinations that get typed in this in you know they make up a vast majority of words so it's important that these get used the most now that's what's great about key br whoopsie is that these you know it's generating things that get used the most so how to, with and hope you know these are all um, combinations that come up in a lot of different words and it's it's so it's it's not like you're typing a, a word individually. You're typing a sort of subsection of words uh, put together um, that will enable you to type quicker. So this is this is what I've been using. We can go into my stats page now to see how I've been doing. So this is my stats page here. We can see uh, I've spent now almost two and a half hours typing, which is quite a lot. I've done three hundred and fifteen runs. And my top speed, which I actually got today, <laughs> was 74, and my average is 55. So it's the average is still quite quite low, really. I definitely want to be getting that, uh, you know, my average speed for today. You can see 63. I really want to be getting that up to 80, 90, 100, possibly even higher than that. So, we're, but we're well on track here, as we'll see. So here you can see a bit of a distribution. So most people are like quite slow. Um, I would say I'm still, you know, <laughs> fairly. I guess you'd say maybe intermediate, but still, like, I'm not really that good at typing. Um, you know, I really want to be sort of up into this range here. Um, and here we can see these are all the keys, or my statistics about how, how good my runs are. So you can see last round my C, I was a little bit slow on, but uh, that's fine. And th this is this is a good thing here. So this is the chart for your typing speed. So as you can see here, this green line is showing the increase in my typing speed. These green dots are my words per minute. Um, and you can see that's just slowly increasing. Um, the red ones are for the number of errors, so fairly, <laughs> you know, that, that's not really too much happening there. That's something I do need to work on as well, is how many errors I produce. But, um, you know, and here you can see the speed for, for each letter uh, individually, and here we can see the amount of errors that I make per, per letter. Um, and then that's a similar thing again. There's So I've only been using this for two weeks, and, uh, you know, my speed has gone from, I don't know, like, that's maybe 50 up to, you know, we're sort of getting up towards 60, 65. So uh, I'm, I'm looking good. And this is something that I highly, highly, highly recommend if you're interested in, in <laughs> yeah, improving your typing speed. Um, I guess to, to summarize the, the tips, um, use KeyBR, which is this website that I'm using. Um, make sure that when you type, you're, you're using your fingers in the, on the correct keys. So that, that's going to speed it up a lot, is make sure your pinkies are being used Make sure your you know your fingers are hitting the right keys so that your hands aren't jumping around the keyboard. It, where possible, use uh, if you want to <laughs> try and learn a different keyboard layout because I think that will help. Um, and finally, you know, um, just just practice, <laughs> practice a lot, uh, and and then you'll see you'll start to see results um, like I have. So uh, thank you for watching, and I'll uh, we'll see you around.